hey this is Tether. in this session I will be explaining how you can execute the PL SQL block using execute immediate you can also execute the entire PL SQL block using this execute immediate so for that first of all same like what you did for SQL statement you have to construct the PL SQL block and assign it to a variable and that variable will be substituted in execute immediate command by this way you can execute the entire PL SQL block for that here I am going to I have already written a procedure in this procedure it will accept two parameters one is the employee ID and another one is the salary so you have to give two inputs to this procedure the employee ID and the updated salary you want to raise it raise the salary of the given employee so you have to pass the revised salary amount also so you will be passing two values employee id and the revised salary so after passing these two values the procedure will update the salary for the given employee so for that first you have to write the procedure and then you can execute this procedure using execute immediate let me create the procedure create or replace procedure and the procedure name you are inputting the two values employee id that is integer and salary that one also integer so both are in parameters in by default you no need to specify it's optional both are input parameters yes my declaration part my declaration part is sql statement i am going to construct the sql statement here also i am going to construct the sql statement and execute that sql statement dynamically using execute immediate so going to construct the sql statement my SQL statement is update employees set my salary equals colon 1 that is my bind argument first bind argument where employee id equals colon 2 my SQL statement is ready now I am going to execute it execute immediate the SQL statement using why you are putting using because there are two bind arguments so you have to use using class using the updated salary because colon 1 comes first that is my first input to this procedure sorry that is my first input to this dynamic SQL statement so I am putting salary p cell as my first argument in the using class in my using class p cell is my first argument comma p employee id p employee id is my second argument in my using class so p employee id is substituted here so for colon 1 bind argument p cell will be substituted and for my colon 2 bind argument p emp id is substituted assume that if you have still you have some argument by colon 3 colon 4 like that then you can substitute sequentially in this order from 1 to 2 so salary and employee id are my inputs to this sql statement so for this bind argument the corresponding placeholder values are p cell and p emp id what is p cell and p emp id those values are passed as input to this procedure p emp id and p cell these are the inputs to this procedure and i am executing it after completing the execution it's printing the result dbms output salary is updated to the p cell for this employee id p emp id let me create this procedure this procedure is created after creating the procedure I want to call this procedure using execute immediate I am initializing the variable plsql block varchar2 of 100 where plsql block equals I am going to write the entire procedure and I will be initializing it into this variable plsql block plsql block is a, simply a variable within single quotes I am going to write the plsql block to write the anonymous plsql block how you will use how you will write using the begin and end class begin my procedure rise salary is my procedure name and my inputs are emp id and salary and I am passing the bind argument emp colon emp id comma colon salary these are my bind arguments closing the statement using semicolon and putting the end note that you have to put semicolon here otherwise you will get error closing the single quotes 
that's all my statement is over i am going to execute this pl sql statement using execute immediate execute immediate the variable that is pl sql block it contains the entire procedure entire anonymous procedure using why we are putting using because the corresponding bind argument should be replaced by the placeholder value so i am putting using using in actually it's optional one in means input if you are giving input then you have to put in if you are getting some output from this procedure normally procedure can be used both for in and out parameters if you are passing input to the procedure then you have to give in if you are getting out par if you are using out parameter in the procedure and you want to get some output values from the procedure then in that case you can use out here my both values in employee id and salary both are my input values so i am using in emp id and my salary execute it's completed let me check in my employees table 9876 is my updated salary 9876 is updated salary for 119 in employee id so in this way you can execute the pl sql block also using execute immediate next uh, one both we can also path both in and out parameter we can see it in the next session